Hello guys, welcome back in the way- Oh, what's the- Warning will ex- There's no way a command block can explode. Oh. Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how to do something like this. Give a item with a custom name, custom enchantments, and custom lore. In the new Minecraft snapshot, it actually works in like any Minecraft snapshot, 1.7 snapshot. Uh, um, but I am in 13W42B. So, anyway. Uh, instead of examining this command, which you can do, I'll have this in the in yeah in the comment no, description. Uh, we'll start out with the basics. Give at p diamond and it's one a diamond. Have a diamond. Uh, diamond underscore sword one zero beep. Same thing. One is the number, zero is the damage value, you could do 1,000 then it won't be, yeah, that's, anyway. Change that back to zero, because we don't want it damaged. Then, let's just start with name and lore. Display. Name is, this is a diamond sword. So if we just close this, close the um, name, close the display, done, button, it's called this is Diamond Sword. And then, if after the quotation marks, we add comma, capital lore, and then, not squiggly, square bracket, lore, quotation mark, this, this is, that, mm -hmm. yeah. This is line one of lore, and then if you do another one, it'll say it on the second line. So yeah, yeah, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the second line of love, guys. So done. Beep. This is line one of lore. This is line two of lore. Now we'll get into the enchantments and remove the second line of lore. So, uh, colon, inch, no, no, that's, that's a comma, not a colon, what are you doing, man? Inch, then square bracket, squiggly bracket, square brackets, because you can have multiple things in this statement, squiggly brackets to start one of those previously stated many statements. Stuff with statements and states. Anyway, enchantment, ID. 16 is sharpness or something. ID 16 through 21 is all the uh, weapon enchantments. ID 16 LVL for level... Random numbers. That's a big number. <laughs> see if it works. Uh, square bracket to end the ID, square bracket to end the enchantments, and then we have one to end the whole thing. I'm scared. Enchantment <laughs> level zero. I wonder if it's actually zero or what. So let's summon a uh, spider. Has to be capitalized. Well, that's most likely level zero. So let's just slash give at p diamond underscore sword. Let's compare it to it to a normal sword. Okay, I guess it is actually zero. So apparently there is a maximum, which is apparently above big number. So let's just change it to you can do something like a hundred, maybe a thousand. Yeah, you can do a thousand. And as you can see, it also has lore. So yeah. Also after that, after the squiggly bracket, you can put a comma, another squiggly bracket, ID. 21 is looting, I'm pretty sure. Level... 400. Uh, that's 300, whatever. Close, and then, as you can see, it'll have multiple enchantments. It's not pretty, because it says sharpness enchantment dot level dot, but it's functional, because 
if I summon that previously stated spider, we get 58 string. Okay, okay. Do you get my point? Do you get my point? Is it always 58? Oh, okay! It's not always 58. It's sometimes crap tons more. Uh, I just gotta try this with the creeper. I just gotta. So now it insta-kills and gives you... <laughs> That's actually really awesome. Okay, I gotta try this with looting. A thousand. I've got to. So... Let's see what awaits us. Let's see, can we count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stacks of gunpowder? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no, more. Clear, happy. I'll just put sulfur. Sulfury, mm -hmm. yeah. It's right, gunpowder, isn't it? Gunpowder. That's easier to type anyway. Okay, so as you can see, you can have really high levels of custom enchantment. No. Custom enchantments. You can have lore. You can have a name. I'm not really sure what else you can have. I mean, on this one, it has name, lore, and enchantments. So, if you didn't know, you can just have infinite lines of lore by just adding a comma and then another quotation mark. You can have infinite enchantments by adding another one of these, just, you know, more customized with a certain level and certain ID. And then a comma, of course, to separate them. And then just make sure that your brackets are balanced. If you have a square bracket, you need to close it with a square bracket. If you have a squiggly bracket, you need to close it with a squiggly bracket. That's just kind of basic coding. If you've seen my other 1.7 command videos, then you, you know, know that. So yeah, guys. That was pretty much that. If you didn't see my last video, there is now stained glass. Um, in the 42 A and B, it actually changes the glass so that it's now more transparent than it was. Before it was just kind of too dark, but now you can really see through it, but you still get the color. So that's nice. I'll also go change it to Sfax because um, it's kind of also, you know, a Sfax review because I like Sfax. So I'll go switch into Sfax and show you what the new colored glass in Sfax looks like because they actually have released that and I'll also show you all the new plants and stuff in Sfax. So yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, you can just pretty much end it here if you don't want to see all the Sfax stuff. I just really like Sfax and I have a recording system, YOLO. So yeah, be right back if you do want to see the Sfax review. So yeah, be right back. Thank you Sfax for crashing my Minecraft because apparently you can't really switch resource packs and if you're in full screen in the snapshot I guess no shut up yeah there we go that's good uh, apparently you can't really do it it's kind of a bug it crashes but anyway so yeah this is what the colored glass looks like in Sfax I'm too lazy to turn bobbing off so you're just gonna have to deal with okay it doesn't show if you're shifting so these are all the colors of stained glass wind specs and of course the glass panes behind them. This is just a uh, interesting mural that I made. Oh, and above them are, of course are normal glass, just to compare. This is a mural. I was bored, okay? Um, there's no other really new textures except for all these flowers. I'll show them to you because YOLO. So we might as well get rid of all this and grab the flowers. Uh, grass has changed. I think a lot of these have changed. So that's pretty cool. I just, I don't need too many to go. So let's just make a big strip of grass to show off all this stuff. Grass, fern, oh yep, grass is definitely changed and I like it. Flower, uh, dandelion, poppy, which is pretty much a red flower. 
But the red flower is an existing name. It's not called a rose, it's called a poppy. <laughs> uh, blue orchid. That actually looks really cool. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but it looks like something out of a fairy tale or something. Um, Azure Blit. Uh, tulips. I don't need to show you all the tulips, do I? Answer is no. Oxygen. Daisy. Uh, all the same glass. Then we'll show you sunflower, liliac, double tall grass, large fern, rosebush, and the plant. Daisy. Oh, it's so pretty. The sunflower, which really looks cool, except for the hitboxes, if it's screwed up. Hmm. Then again, how else do you make a hitbox like that? So that actually looks really high quality and detailed. I like it. I really do. So then there's the lilac. That's pretty cool too. Command's video turns into a sex review. Double tall grass. It's an extension of the grass. Uh, large fern. It's an extension of the fern. Rosebush. Now this is actually pretty interesting. I like it. I really do. Peony. Uh, I'm not sure what they look like, but once again I like it. Then again I really like specs, so yeah. Those are all the new flowers in 1.7, and that's what they look like in sex. Which is out for the snapshot, which I think is actually really cool slash awesome. Yay. So yeah, guys. That was mini snapshot facts review, and... Not really. Mini. <laughs> uh, who cares. And also how to, uh... Forgot I don't have a fine. Also how to do enchanted beautiful items. Enchanted named Lord stuff. Oh, also if you don't see the top of the menu like glitches a lot. I don't know what's with it. If you're in an empty slot, it's black. If you're in the last item before empty slots, it's black. But if you go anywhere else, it's white. I really don't know, but you know. Just a cool little thing. Oh, if you don't have items in your inventory, that's fine. Oh. So, once again, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm repeating myself. That was how to do custom enchanted named lord items and a mini facts review. So, yeah. That is the new snapshot 13WL for it to be. And it's also for it to A. Like, comment, subscribe, goodbye.